Not put on, I may or may not do it exactly the same way. I don't know. I don't script this shit. But this is a show, though. I want y'all to know that when you come to this live right here, th this is the Let Me Stress You Out show. This nigga done put some time and effort into putting some shit together that's going to be entertaining for an hour every day, five days a week. This nigga from New Orleans. This nigga cool as fuck swinging wood out the hood. The nigga obviously be doing better in life, but the nigga is still talking that hood shit. But from a nigga who done got out of that shit perspective, any a country nigga so I fuck with him, and they come here every day, some of them two hours a day. I wouldn't do this for nobody. I don't even watch. Look, Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper, but I'm not about to watch no hour of Lil Wayne. I'm about to turn the goddamn channel on one of these days. But y'all come to this Let Me Stress You Out show every day, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much, honey, for coming on through for your boy. Now, let me tell you, Faye, what we do here on the Let Me Stress You Out show. This is what we do. What we do is, I the purpose of this show is so that I can stress somebody out for you. Because when I do the old celebrity roast videos, y'all comment and be like, hey, man, that was so funny. Can you stress out my cousin? And I be like, well, the people really don't know your cousin like that. I care about it. But the fans of mine who don't know you, they don't care about your cousin. But I do. So I made a show for you. So if your cousin getting on your damn nerve, doing whatever they doing, disrespectful, disrespecting the culture, you type in the chat what they doing, and I'll freestyle roast them right here. And this, a stress out is different from a roast. A stress out is a roast for the Lord. So it may or may not be no jokes about you in it. But the damn show is going to be aggressive and it's going to be funny. You're going to be like, why is he saying all this to me? Because you need it. I'm only going to do it if you need it. I'm roasting for Jesus. I can't embarrass us. I'm just letting you know what it is. Who I need it. I appreciate you coming through, honey. Yes. Oh, goddamn, hold on. Evangelist Jones is in here. I'm so glad you're in here, Evangelist Jones. Evangelist Jones. Hit that goddamn cash app for your boy. Pass the plate around to that dollar sign comedian Boogie B. That's first off. That's exhibit A. That's exhibit ipto facto. Hit that damn dollar sign comedian Boogie B. What you think I'm about to do this for? You think I'm about to give you this whole hour of all of me for zero dollars and zero cents? Come on now, everybody do something for something. Let's just talk about it. Shit, I need money too. Shit, y'all already doing good. Evangelist. What the hell you getting money for if you ain't gonna pass it around the community? What you sitting on all that money for? What you what you trying to wait? What you saving it for a rainy day? It's about to rain now. Pass that goddamn shit around. Evangelist Jones, I know somebody is doing a scam with another name on Facebook, but don't accept them. I can't I don't send out friend requests. I don't I don't request no friends because I, I cannot. My request is already full. So if somebody send you a, a request from Boogie B, it's not me or any other variation of the name. I trademarked the name Boogie B so nobody else can really use it like that. But Facebook won't take it down. All right, Tracy, let's talk about it. In between these stress outs, this is what I do, y'all. In between the stress outs, because some of y'all might not put nothing in there. Evangelists, sometimes they might not put nothing in there, Jones, where they somebody doing nothing wrong to my book ads and my boogie bros. If you ain't doing nothing wrong to my book ads and my boogie bros, then I'll give you a pass. Carolyn, thank you for coming through, baby. Connie, I appreciate you. Yes, no, it, it, my Facebook has not been hacked. They just made, took, take pictures off my page and create a whole nother page under a whole nother name. And they just used my pictures and my logo. And Facebook said this is not, this does not go against their policies, so they ain't taking it down. I don't know why. But just don't accept the free request, just block them. If you don't see this handsome chocolate nigga in there moving around every day for a whole damn hour, then don't go to that page, because I'm only on this page. And I'm on my Instagram in, a, in an hour. Yeah, I know, I get a lot of imposters. There's a lot of designer imposters of Boogie Bee, but there's only one Boogie Bee. There's a lot of middle of them all cologne knockoffs of the real cologne, Boogie Bee. The Boogie Bee cologne is very, very, no, very well known to be made into a Broadway and Canal knockoff bag. 
making knockoff Boogie B colognes out here. It's only one me though. So come here. Tracy, what up, baby? I'm glad you're so I'm so glad I keep seeing your name. Force MD, what up, baby? You just made it through Maria. Where you been? What you been up to? Well, come on through. Let's talk about it. Cause in between these stress outs, what I do is I talk about a subject. I ask you a question. And I want to absorb all the all shit. So I read every every comment that I see, I read it. And if I don't read it now, I'm going to read it when I finish this live. Because I go back and I read and reply to everybody down. You know, my book answer, no, I reply to all that shit. I'm Petty Eddie. I'm Petty Eddie. So if you say something negative, I'm coming back on you. I ain't a but Look, I'm, I'm still a nigga. <laughs> I ain't no upstanding black man in the community. I'm still a Negro. I know what y'all thinking, but I ain't made it. Ain't nobody gave me no check. I'm about to say some shit. Larry, I don't play that shit. What's up, Marilyn in here? Merlin. What up, Merlin? Your goddamn name is Negalinda. 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 Miss Cooper. Damn, I'm going to just got to call you by your last name. Andrea, what are you? What up, baby? Yeah, you told them, come here, let me stress you out right fast for hacking my page. Yeah, you right. Thank you. You know I'm going to teach you something today, Maria. Force of D, that's why you come here, because you know I'm going to teach you something good today. I got something good, like I got a good question for y'all today. I got a good question for you. Honey, don't worry. Hang on to your seat, honey. I need you here. I need you. I need uh, any woman named Honey, I need you in here. Every woman I ever met named Honey had good coochie. Hey, every time, 100% of the time. I've not yet met a Honey. A woman named Honey, I have not yet met with trash coochie, so I know I like it. Goddamn right, don't come for me, because I'm about that action. I want all the smoke. I'm Peddy Eddie. You're going to be like, damn, Boogie, you going to argue back with all your friends, all your fans? Yes. I am, because I'm on the COVID, nigga. I'm in the crib. What the fuck else I got to do? I'm on YouTube looking at comments. I'm on TikTok looking at comments. I'm on my shit. I don't even be on y'all pages, because I'm always watching what y'all doing on my shit. I'm going through 379 people, and I'm going to, hey, watch your mouth in my chat. Hey, don't come in here with that cool shit. Don't do it, not in here. I'm, I'm going right on back with you. Yeah, they be thinking when they say something to me, Lawanda, they think they oh, he got so many comments, he ain't gonna see this one, shit. And I'ma say something. Goddamn right, Platinum, I'm saying something. But let me tell y'all what we on today. This is what we on today as soon as this goddamn commercial go off. This is what we on today. Today, I want to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, my upstanding women and men of substance, my upstanding boogie bros of great of great stature and dingoling is in here. Gus, what's happening? Hell yeah, Gus. I'm glad you came through this bitch. Let me ask y'all this. People are assholes. You got them right there, honey. Dion, welcome, baby. How you doing? Listen, let me tell y'all this. This is what I'm going to ask y'all today. I'm going to ask y'all one simple question. And as always, I say the disclaimer before I get started. That 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 you can just, just be as honest as you can be on the internet. Because it's the internet, okay? This is going to last forever. You're going to be dead and gone. And somebody going to be watching the Let Me Stress You Out show with Boogie B on here. And they may not see your comments popping up in here. But they're going to hear me read your damn name. What up, Carol Hoskins Burks? Your grandkids is going to hear that name being said. You long gone. So don't say nothing stupid in this chat now that you don't want nobody to know or you don't want to ever be out there because I might say it. I got a big mouth, Romisha. I'm a, I, they, they call me the mouth of the South for more than one ways. I'm the mouth of all the, the Souths you can think of. Hey, I, I talk a lot and I eat a lot of coochie. I'm a good southern coochie eating nigga. I don't mind eating your booty if we in a good relationship. If we going healthy, if we in a healthy relationship, I might if you ask me to. I ain't gonna offer it to you though, cause I don't do that. All right, Janelle, this is all y'all opinion matters. But just know what you say. I'ma repeat it. 
Don't let me be in the comments talking about, oh, Shirley Ann Stevenson. What's up? Oh, so you say you be swiping your nose up booties on, a, on Tuesdays? Why you saying that? Now your grandkids done heard your name associated. They, 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 yay, you don't want that to happen, Shirley Ann. I'm just saying. Don't say no shit that you don't want me to say out loud and it lasts forever. How about that? Cause this shit gonna be, y'all think just a little people watching this shit, this shit gonna last forever. It's gonna be a hundred thousand niggas gonna end up seeing this damn video. And I'm talking about Dion Hyde and Negalander Cooper. What the hell, man? Now I'm trying to get that name right, nigga. I'm, that one is Neg Age Landa. Nage Landa. That's a hell of a damn name. You must be African or Indian or something. I, I don't know. Beverly, thank you for coming on through. Andrea, yes, indeed. Gwen, no, I'm just telling the truth now. I ain't gonna tell y'all nothing but the truth. Let me just ask y'all the question. Fuck it. Now, do you date in your lane? Let me ask you that. Hold on. Let me turn it. Let me pause it and say, do you date in your lane? What do I mean? Come on, let's talk about it. We know what it is. You know what the hell I mean. You know what the hell I mean, Gus. Let's ask him. Come on, Rochelle. Do you date in your league? Do you date out of your league? How do you date? Do you date sideways? Do you date across? Do, do you, do you, how do you date? How do you choose? Cherie. I know. Thank you so much, Cherie. I love that name, Cherie. Quick story about the girl named Cherie I, I used to mess with in high school. Cherie had the biggest booty on the track team. I mean, Cherie, this is not you, Cherie Hunter, but this is a, this a whole nother story. I was just about to talk about something and then got sidetracked. But y'all still answer, because I'm about to, I'm still asking y'all, did you date in your lane? Keep putting yes or no, higher or lower, up or down. Put it in your lane. Put, what lane do you date in? Or do you look for niggas then or look for women in. Do you date higher? Are you going up? Are you going down? Are you staying in your league? You're just dating what's 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 efficient for you. Now, Cherie. Cherie was my high school, first high school crush. I was in ninth grade. Cherie was a chocolate motherfucking pretty ass. She had short hair though. That's the only thing I really didn't, I wasn't too keen on because she didn't really have no hairstyles. She always used to just slick her shit to her head. And it used to just be caught, cut short right here. Y'all know what I'm talking about? It be real greasy looking all the time and it just glued to your neck and it'll be short. But Cherie was pretty and chocolate with the fattest old booty in, in the ninth grade. I mean, and she was fast on the track team too. I was like, shit. I wanted Cherie so bad. One day, Cherie let me touch on her coochie on the track bus. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I ain't even, listen, I blew it with the coochie. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you, I blew it with the coochie. I tried to go at the coochie, but I wasn't ready for it. I was in ninth grade. I was not ready to be trying to pursue no coochie. I was still ugly. I was somewhat ugly. I was still somewhat ugly. I was uglier than I am now, for sure. My face was bumpy. I, hey, I, but I ain't had no game. I was skinny as hell. I had no definition. I was a little ninth grader. I wasn't my, I ain't hit my growth spurt since 10th grade. I wanted, and she was tall, pretty, chocolate, everything cool, quiet, slick back hair down. I ain't really like the slick back hair down, but that's all right. But, but I was, that was, I was like, hey, I'm gonna shoot that shot. I'm gonna shoot my shot from half court, nigga. I'm shooting my shit from the, I'm shooting my shot from the hallway. I'm gonna shoot my shot from the parking lot. I'm gonna go outside the gym and shoot my shot. If I got to, I don't give a fuck. I been, I been like this. I was in high school. I said, you know what? I'm gonna try to get Marie. I was gonna try to get Cherie, but Cherie, boy, she let me touch her boot and everything. We was cool as hell. She would let me do a lot more than anybody else for just whatever reason. But, but I didn't know how to pursue the coochie, Gus. I, so I just, I blew it. I didn't end up getting the coochie, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I did, I did, I did, I held my own. Fuck that, I ain't go out like no sucker. You would have been proud of your little young homeboy, Gus. I did what I could do, shit. I wasn't no damn macaroni shit. I was just a funny, cool nigga. I was just, you know, shit. I ain't know how to approach no coochie now. 
So I blew that one, but that's my Cherie girl story. I did touch that Kucha on the track bus. So that count, that, that means that that was a lot for me in the ninth grade. I ain't getting no Kucha till I was in the 10th grade. Anyway, the point of this story is that I was shooting for the stars. She was way too good looking for me to be trying to shoot my shot with a Jones. Evangelist Aid Jones, I tried to shoot my shot all the way out my league and I was too scared to try to pursue the coochie like I was supposed to. Now she could have had anybody she want. The girl was goddamn on the volleyball team and the basketball team. And come on fellas, y'all remember the volleyball team. Them girls had them thighs. Them girls on the volleyball team had that tight quarter squeeze booty. You remember the volleyball team? You know you wasn't about to holler at nobody on the on the volleyball team unless you was on the basketball team or the or the or, or something team or you was a, a you was something you had to be something you ain't just gonna holler at nobody on the volleyball team. Them girls was thick as hell for their age. Was I'm telling the truth? Come on, Gus, don't leave me hanging. I'm seeming like I'm like I'm a damn weirdo or something. Come on, Gus, put the hundreds in if I'm telling the truth, fellas. Come on, don't leave me hanging. I'm telling you, nigga, we've been shooting from the we shoot our shot. Mo, me especially, I shoot. I be on my my lane. I be way out of my league. I be I be in the slow lane, but I try to merge into the fast lane. I'm trying to skip the middle lane. I ain't even a middle lane nigga. I'm a I'm a lane one nigga. I'm still trying to get in lane four and five. I ain't got no money or nothing. I'm still trying to get in lane five. I'm a I'm a chronic lane changer. Now, we talk about how you stay in your lane, Qaddafi Rivi. Now, do you date in your lane or do you date in the amount of, of like what you are qualified for? A lot of y'all say, yes, you stay in your lane. Men out of my league, ugly, always try to date me. Okay, they a league below you. They, they in lane one and you in lane five. Okay, well, shit. How can you really be mad at him? I mean, he tried. He was supposed to try. Hey, let, I don't know. Hey, this was, I was young. I was a young nigga back then now, but that shit ain't never changed about me. I'm always upgrading because how, that's how the FD roll. That's how FD roll. Who the hell is FD? Okay. There was a date. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Gus, for backing me up. I appreciate it. Don't let me hang out here like I'm just making up shit. These ladies think I'm up in here just saying shit that ain't true. Thank you, Gus, for putting them hundreds in there. These women know I ain't telling no damn lies. I'm telling you what we thought of on our side. Let me see. Black man only? Yes. Okay. But you could be in a slow lane and have fast potential. You right, ho. You right. You right. So what do you do? Oh, do you date below you? I'm glad my nigga Gaddafi Rivi in this bitch. Gaddafi been coming in here fucking with me. He ain't got, that's cause the nigga ain't got nothing to do. He got all his money and this nigga done shopped himself till he dropped. This nigga just eating steak and shrimp on his phone. He don't got no job to clock into. The nigga got a Lambo. Who the fuck you know got a Lambo and gotta go to work every day? That nigga right here on this chat fucking with me. That's my partner from the, now I met that nigga in the age. Nigga, stay, nigga, your opinion matters. It's a, that's why I'm saying all that to say. If you do you date up or down? Do you date? Do you stay in your lane? Let me see. Do you stay in your league? Romisha said I'm in the HOV lane. Ooh, smooth sailing. You in a smooth sailing lane. Go ahead on and smooth sail then. But do you but do you date niggas who not in the HOV lane? Do you date niggas in the middle lane? But would you date a nigga that's, let me see, let me see Wanda, let me ask you this, let me, let me ask you this, Corey, let me ask you too, Corey, because I'm going to flip it, I'm going to do a boy and a girl, let me ask you this, if you get money, let me do it, Gaddafi, Gaddafi, you perfect for this, that's why I told you to come back today, G, because this is perfect for you, let me ask you this, Gaddafi, is if you uh, nigga, you already in the HOV lane, nigga. You you in a you in the league of very few niggas of your stature. You know see what I'm saying? Do you date women that's not in that league? I'm talking about for financially or looks, social, 
you a fuck if somebody you cause goddamn you kind of like a neighborhood superstar. Would you date somebody who don't nobody know and you just taking them around and or would you be the one? Some of y'all, let me go to somebody else. You got them right. They got, but the, this is what happens on a regular basis. So I'm talking about staying in your lane, people. Some of y'all know you ain't qualified for the shit that you want out of a nigga. Woo! Ouch! This one gonna hurt, Gaddafi. Rivi, this bitch gonna hurt, G. This ain't gonna, they ain't gonna like this one. What I'm about to say, I hate to say it, but you, it, I wouldn't be me if I didn't tell you this. I would not be Boogie B if I didn't tell you what I'm about to tell you right now. I wouldn't even be me. You've been spoiled 38 years. He died in 2017. All the roaches crawling out of the woodworks. No scrubs. Yeah. Okay. So you don't date below. Good. Glad. But let me tell you this, ladies. A lot of y'all shooting from the locker room and you don't even know it. You want a nigga that's handsome. You want a nigga that's slinging wood out the hood. You want that good. Right? You want a nigga that got that's handsome, good jug, and money, and a, and a good job? Wait, wait, wait a minute. How many, how many of these qualifications you got? You want the nigga to be in shape, no stomach, handsome, perfect smile, a uh, tall. What else you want? All y'all be saying y'all y'all want some outlandish shit in this chat, and I'm just wondering. I'm just with you in shape. Why you want somebody in shape? What the hell are you looking for somebody that's cut up for and you got a stomach? What if you got a stomach, you don't need nobody with no money and all that with no that's no cut up. You just need a nigga with some money, maybe. Maybe just some money. Some of y'all just be shooting from the locker room. You know damn well, your skin bumpy. You know you ain't hey, listen, you know you skinny, you know you 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 small, bumpy face, you ain't handsome or whatever, fella. But but you listen when you go at girls that's a goddamn ten, you you can you can shoot that far. You can do it because this shit gonna be different for men and women. Let me say that. Let me say that before I keep going. What Gaddafi said? I just missed him saying something. Angela, what's up, nigga? God damn, you be coming here aggressive. Tasha said I date in and out of my lane. Okay, I like them young. Age of 39, 30 through thirty nine. That's young. Okay. Okay, Tasha, you like that young dingo ling? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yes, I would date them. But they would definitely feel that pressure if they ain't rocking how I'm rocking. Woo! Goddamn, Gaddafi said, "Look, I'm a date out. I'm a date down. I'm a date. I'm gonna let you date up into my lane. But, but when you get in my lane, just know that this is the fast lane. I drive a Lamborghini, so so this is the fast lane you're getting in." I can always dump your ass back to the slow lane now. So you, when you get in this fast lane, you better drive the speed I'm driving if you want to try to stay in this lane with me. Or I can just, or you can take your ass back down to the slow lane. Gotta be on your P's and Q's. This a Rolls Royce? Hey, hey, he better have a made back. Okay, I'm just saying, stay in your lane. I, I know all y'all think you got a little money. I know all y'all think you're cute. I know all y'all think you got swag. I know all y'all think you're doing well. And so you want the ideal person to match up with that. How you gonna find that? If you got all this shit, you you just, it's gonna be tough. Let me flip this shit to, for, for the, let me tell you how it's different for men and women. First, Gaddafi, I never did tell you this. I never did tell you this, but I'm glad you're sitting down so I can tell you right now. Linda, yes. From the locker room, you got them right. Cougar, yeah, she a cougar in here. She said she like them 39 to, to 30. But let me tell you how it's different from men and women. <sighs> this is gonna be tough. Most women are of lower status, don't know how to rock with the wealthy. That's a very valid point. That's a very valid point. You got that right, Vice President, I appreciate that. Yeah, most women of lower status don't know how to rock when they get with the rest. Now you can go get this hood chick if you want to, Gaddafi, because she got that fat booty. You can go and get her. Now you know this girl got everybody in her family living a project. And you gonna have to take care of all these responsibilities now when you let her get up in this fast lane with you. Now you, listen, just know when you date down, it's consequences. You can do it, but 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 you gotta accept the shit that come along with it. She gonna bust out your 
She gonna bust the windows out your Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. She got a big booty. She she cute, but she hood. She got old. She ain't never had no money. Ain't gonna never get no money. She ain't gonna. She was never gonna get in your lane unless you grabbed her whole vehicle and picked it up and put it in your lane. Now you done put her in your lane, Gaddafi. But but but, but just know it's gonna be problems in your lane. Now that you done put somebody who wasn't going this fast in this lane. I hope y'all staying with this goddamn analogy. I hope y'all staying with my metaphor on this one because I'm going hard with it. I'm going to use this analogy to death with this car lane shit because everybody like to say, stay in your lane. Romisha said, always date up. Okay. All right, Romisha. So now always, now, now, Romisha ain't no bad looking, now, now, ain't no bad looking lady now. I don't know if y'all know it, but Romisha out there, chocolate, hair nice, body nice, doing her thing, slinging that thing. Hey, Romisha just said that she dates up all the time. Now, I'm glad you said that, so I can tell you this. <laughs> Come on now, you know what I'm about to tell them. Gotta live, gotta live around the way, girl. Okay. Okay, you can get you one or two of those. But listen, let me tell you what happens when you date up, Romisha. Let me tell you when you date up like y'all tend to do, ladies. And, and this is the difference. Ladies, they date up meaning financially, right? They date a nigga who money bigger than they money most of the time. So it's, it's, it's three lanes to the shit. It's, it's either you socially... Social status, nigga like Gaddafi Rivi, so, social status. That's a lane. If you in the fast lane in that, if you look, looks wise, if you physically a fucking 10, if you cut up, you muscular, you tall, you tatted up, you, you light skin, you got good hair, you slang good dick, you in a good, you in a good lane. That's a lane too, so the, so the, so the social status, the looks, and the next lane is the financial status. Now, if you at the fast lane and all these bitches, you attend in all these categories, then your lane is, you gonna have a lot of people trying to get in your lane. And your lane can fix up other people's shit. You can fix somebody else up. But when the girl, when you, Romisha, when you dating up, when you dating niggas who got more than you, you got to take all this shit. You gonna have to put up with some shit now. You go ahead, if you if I got a hell of a social status, everybody know me, and you date me, I'm up on you and I'm up in social status. I'm in the fast lane for social status. You go somewhere with me, it's gonna be bitches that be like, hey, can I take a picture with you? How you doing? How your grandma doing? I love you. You gonna have to be able to deal with that shit. If, if that's what if you wanna date up now, you gotta put up with a lot of shit. That's all I'm saying. You twenty? Oh, you a twenty? Okay, honey. Honey is a twenty. I'm glad you said that. Christy, hell no. Gus, I play broke all the time. You let them think that they're dating down, but you really up trying to test them. It's different for men and women though. Let me tell you about the only on the woman side when you dating up. If you dating a nigga up on money, if the nigga up, if the money, if he in the fast lane financially. And you in the slow lane financially, or you in the middle lane financially, but you ain't in the fast lane for damn show. Sure. You trying to date a nigga, little, little, you Gaddafi. Some of these women be trying to date a nigga with a Lamborghini, and you have an Altima. If you got an Altima, ain't nothing wrong with no Altima. Now that's a good damn vehicle. But 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 you ain't you don't need no nigga with no goddamn Lambo. Why you need that? You, 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 uh, hey, it's going to be a lot of shit that's going to come with this now. Do you, are you sure you want this Lambo? You sure you ready to just go all the way from an Ultima to a Lambo in one scoop? You ain't going to go to a Benz first. You ain't going to get a BMW first just to see how it feel to drive nice by yourself first. You just going to jump in another nigga Lambo. That's what you're doing. You just going to jump in. You don't even know how to drive a Lambo. You don't even know where the shift at. The shift on the steering wheel. This ain't no shift there. Goddamn Altima. You used to Altima. You shooting for a Lambo. And you think you're going to jump in there with no, no consequences. 
You think it ain't gonna be no consequences for you dating up, Romisha? You think you, okay, you date up for the money, Ro, Romisha say. Misha say, dating up involves more than the bag. Okay, we ain't just talking about the, ma the bag. We talking about social status. This means he's very popular. We talking about financially. This means his money is up. This means looks wise. Ooh, this is gonna be hard to swallow, Gaddafi. I'm saying looks wise, the physical counts too. Some of y'all think you're cute as hell now. You be shooting for the moon and the stars. But you can't be ugly and you trying to fuck the holler dimes. If you is, because it's all it's different lanes to all this shit. Angela, get, got, get your ass out of goddamn Gaddafi River DMs. You ain't in no, you ain't. All right, go ahead. You don't want to, all right, go ahead. Go on over there and fuck with Gaddafi. Watch what he do to you. Watch the amount of dick that he put on your ass. Watch that ding ling go in your goddamn belly button and shift your stomach to the side. Watch one of your intestines fall out. Fuck with all that ding ling with a nigga with a Lambo. Okay, go ahead, do it. I ain't, I'm talking about this, if, if I'm, when I say dating out of your league, I mean just go on and say what it is. Fuck all this personal growth shit. All this, I'm beautiful on the inside. All this, I'm rich in spirit and God. We not talking about all that. We talking about real world 2020 shit moving forward. We talking about assets and liabilities. If you more of a liability than an asset to the person that you dating, I know you don't want to look at it this way. I know you don't want to see it this way. You ain't going to say nobody better than you, but you got to think about it now. You came in with a mediocre coochie and you got some great ding a -ling. You like, damn, this nigga got good dick, a whole lot of money, famous, popular, cool, handsome, funny. Shit, I don't even think I deserve this nigga, for real. Come on now. Black women always date up. Okay. Have good looking men that they have to take care of. They date, they date up in the looks department a lot of times. Some people date up in the looks department. Some day people date up in the money department. Some people date up in the social status department. That's dating up. They, they, that's not in their lane though, but they don't want to keep it real and say, I'm not in that lane up there, but that's what I, that's what I want though. They not really, 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 really not really going to be honest and say, I don't really deserve a dingling this good. Not at this particular point in my life. If I was a little bit older, I probably would be ready for the type of dingling that I'm asking for. Let me slow my expectations down. Let me tell you now who is the kings of dating up. Black men is the kings of dating up. You ladies think y'all be dating up sometime. Let a nigga get some money on him. He get up on the money lane, this nigga gonna shoot for the stars in the looks lane. The lady that, that these little ugly rich niggas, Kodak black niggas, these niggas is ugly, but these niggas is money, money out the wazoo, and you will overlook all that ugly, and you will dumb yourself down. You will stop trying to look cute no more just to help this nigga out so he don't look so bad because this nigga got money now famous men are different when you talk about rich and famous men come on now now hold on rich and famous men is different because they are up they are always probably at the top of whatever they trying to get to if they already rich and famous they ain't they dating up only in the looks department and this will fuck your self-esteem up, ladies. This will the fuck you up, honey. Honey, you dating this little nigga and this nigga is five, two, and three quarters. This nigga, a, a little bitty bald, big stomach nigga. And you done dated, you don't never date niggas that look like him, Sonya. Sonya, you ain't never dated a nigga this ugly. But the nigga got a little money and the nigga a little cool, so fuck it. I'ma go ahead and do with it. This nigga gonna cheat on you, though. Because you dating up in the financial department, but not in the looks department. It's gonna hurt your feelings that he cheat on you. You gonna say, I did this little ugly nigga a favor. This nigga ain't supposed to get no coochie out of this status. 
What the fuck? This nigga think I would've fucked him if he didn't have this money? Hell no, I know this nigga can't be serious. This nigga gonna cheat on me with that? Come on now. This nigga, I, I did you a favor. Your dingling was way smaller than what I thought it was gonna be. First off, and, and, and you just got this money, I done let you slide. Now your shit wasn't little, but your shit wasn't big by no means. Now I'm got I'm gonna deal with this shit and you gonna cheat on me. Um I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm upset with this. I'm not feeling comfortable with this. I done dated your little troll, treasure troll looking ass. I done these little it's a bunch of these niggas out here now. Don't act like I'm making this shit up, Gaddafi. It's some niggas that's so ugly, but they caked up so they get bad bitches. Gaddafi, you been getting bad bitches. Cause you was always handsome even before you got to little chain. You were still a handsome nigga. But it's niggas out here that was, that was terrible. These niggas is awful. They don't deserve coochie at all. Probably didn't get no coochie until they got the money. The, the chicks they was dating before you, you look back at the nigga photo album, you be like, damn. Nigga, you was dating, you was dating in your lane back then. I see you was you wasn't dating up back then, was you? You come up on on me, now you dating up, ain't you? You looking at the pictures of this of, of the nigga ex-women and they are hideous. They overweight, they hair short, they ain't got no swag, they got big glasses, all kind of shit going on when you look at the ex. And you be like, you looking at yourself, you look at yourself like, now why is I'm with this ugly nigga? Oh yeah, he got a little change, he cool. He got a little change. So I mean, I'd rather be with this ugly nigga with the change. Now guess what's gonna happen to you? That ugly nigga is gonna upgrade on you and he gonna find somebody to look better than you. He damn sure is, guess what? It's gonna hurt your feelings. But you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have been trying to date down now in the looks department when you know it's gonna hurt your feelings when you find out that the person don't, don't just, just kinda use you did them a favor and they done took your kindness for weakness. Come on, Soin, let's talk about it. Stay in your lane now, stay in your cute lane. If you cute, if you attract them long lane, get you a nigga that's in shape. If you in shape, get you a nigga with on, that's on CMOS. Nigga slinging wood out the hood. Get you, if you look good, get a nigga that look good. So people can say, damn, y'all a good couple. They don't want, you want them, yo, you go, yo, yo, you done picked a nigga just cause he's so rich. Not a nigga somewhat handsome, but, but he rich. That's the only reason he's somewhat handsome. If he wasn't, if it wasn't for the money, he wouldn't be at all handsome. You wouldn't ever, never talk to this nigga. Come on now. I know, Romisha, you came out the room of Rolls Royce. You still good though. You got a lot of options. But I'm just saying it's different lanes and different categories. The category is financial, looks, Social status. Those are the three categories that you can be in the fast lane or the slow lane or just the middle lane. And you can date up in that category and it ain't nothing wrong with it. You can date up in that category, but you gonna have to pay the goddamn piper. You gonna have to know what you're getting yourself into now. You keep walking around with these ugly hoes if you want to, or you keep doing, hey, whatever you doing, keep on doing it. Now you're dating down, but the shit gonna hurt your feelings when that ugly broad cheat on your ass. You gonna be like, hold up. I did you a favor. I came in this relationship light skin with money, slanging dick. I, I came in this relationship with my dingling tucked in my sock. What the hell are you talking about? Cheating on me. Now you, now you mad. You ready to kill a woman over the shit. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have chose her. Now if a pretty woman cheat on you, it's kind of okay. I mean, damn, you know the bitch got options. Shit, she ain't. Mm -hmm. Hey, if she cheat on you, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts, fellas. It don't matter how she look. It's going to hurt. But if an ugly woman cheat on you, it's going to hurt worse, nigga. Because you dated down in that lane, in that category, and you know you shouldn't have. You're like, now why is I even, I shouldn't even never had sex with this woman. I don't even understand my, my logic. She was cool as fuck, but hey hey shit happens when you take when you let that shit come into your life now watch when people dating up to you you need to tell them look let me be hey honey pull these niggas to the side row misha and be like hey listen you ugly now all right just uh, let's just understand this now i'm doing you a favor i would never normally give no coochie like this. i would never give a purple pack to a nigga who look like you now i love you you handsome you cool to me 
but but to the world, they don't even like you. Be, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, Cheryl. Let me tell you this, Vice President. You done dated an ugly nigga before, ladies, because ugly niggas always date up. He ain't got nowhere else to go but up. He had, you done had the date. These niggas shoot from the goddamn, these niggas shoot from the house before they get to the gym. These niggas ain't shooting from the locker room. They shoot way farther than that. You done, it's been niggas to pass by you in the gas station, hope, and this nigga was a good lead. This nigga was homely looking. He was losing. He was in the slow lane in all the categories. He ain't got no business hollering at nobody, but he hollered at you, Carol. And you be like, what gave that nigga the nerve to think he should holler at me? Why would he want to do something? Why would he even get the audacity? The nerve. Do I look like a holler at niggas that look like him? Now, that nigga know. Do he know what he look like? This nigga, looks, I, know, I know damn well. He shouldn't know, never be saying nothing to me. Come on, Sharon. This shit doesn't happen to you at least once in your life if you a real woman in here. And all y'all upstanding women of substance and great vagina, so I know it's happened to you. You wonder why this nigga just losing in every category, hollering at you. And guess what happened? Sometimes, when it comes to the ugly nigga who's shooting up from the house, you, he might be ugly to you at first. But if that nigga can position himself in the right position in your life, that's right. I'm so glad you're here from the islands. But we talking about, we talking about dating in your lane or staying in your lane when you date or when you choose. Connie, this is what we're talking about. Now, three categories. It's the money, it's the looks, and it's the social status. That's the only three categories. And each one got a fast lane and a slow lane and a middle lane. So you can be in the middle lane and you can date up in any of these categories. When you are ugly, when you're in the, when you're in the slow lane for your looks, Fellas, you gonna get all the way, you gonna try to get all the way into the, you gonna try to get into the HOV lane all the time. Why? Because sometimes you can be ugly, but you can be winning in another category. I'm a 10 in finances. How you think Jay-Z got Beyonce? Come on now, let's talk about it. I know y'all don't wanna say this because they got them famous, I love Jay-Z. But let's be real, that nigga ain't nowhere near attractive enough. I supposed to be in front of him in line to get Beyonce now. Look in the looks lane, in the looks lane only. Jay-Z, goddammit, is not, hey, listen, I'm, I should be in front of him. I should, be on, I should be on lane at least three. That nigga on lane one in the looks department. She on lane five and she always was. She was always in the HOV lane for the looks. You think, you think, you think he didn't, he won her, he can, you can win your way out of ugly. So if you in the ugly lane, Fellas, you know it's an opportunity. If you can talk your way up, you might be winning in the social status game. You might have a good mouthpiece game. You can talk yourself up on some coochie that you was not qualified for. This young lady got her shit together. This girl body right. This girl coochie juicy and, and moist. This girl got goddamn doing a thing, a business woman, entrepreneur. You ain't really shit. You just was winning in the social status department. Maybe you just had knew a few people that could make you look like a little something, something. Now, Jay-Z must got good wood, but before she found out, Beyonce was dating down. Beyonce was like, now this nigga, uh, why you think it took so long for y'all to figure out that Jay-Z and Beyonce was really together? We knew they was together way back. But they didn't make it public because that nigga ugly. Beyonce in the fast lane on the money. She don't need a nigga in the fast lane on the money. She need a, she could have had a fast nigga lane money. She could have got the full package with the status that she had. She was always beautiful. She was always successful. Now she stumbles up on a nigga and he's totally ugly, but he's successful. And you like, God, Solange probably was like, B, when you gonna tell everybody? Why y'all keep hiding the shit? She like, bitch, he ugly. I'm not about to tell nobody I'm fucking Jay-Z. You know that nigga ain't handsome. Do you know who else like me? Who? Everybody. I could get a, I could get a Laker. I could get a Knicks. I could get Rick Fox. I can get anybody that's handsome, more handsome than this nigga. Why would I just, it just automatically jump out there telling people this early in my career that I'm fucking Jay-Z? No way. I look too good to be fucking Jay-Z. I don't care about his financial status. I got money too. 
I'm just saying this is how the thought process went. Salon did. Then she finally announced the shit because she was like, you know what? Fuck it. The nigga ugly, but he didn't. He got. He a good person. He funny. He charming. He didn't talk this way out of ugly because he had the money and he had the social status to do so. He p positioned himself strategically in Beyonce life to procure her. He had to. If he didn't have the money, he would never get a woman that looks like Beyonce. He had to have that to attain that. She knew he had it before she, she knew he had it when she first started fucking with it. The nigga was ugly, she was brushing him off. She was like, come on Jay-Z with your ugly ass now. Don't do that. Don't do that Jay-Z now. You, I mean, you cool now, but don't, don't be trying to, hey, don't be looking at my booty and shit Jay-Z, you ugly now. I like your music, but you ugly. I'm young and I'm beautiful, I'm about to be Beyonce. I'm Beyonce now, but I'm about to be another level of Beyonce soon. Relax, Jay-Z, calm down. <laughs> Jay-Z kept coming around. He at the church. He telling the jokes. He at the club. He at the concerts. He's spending all the money flying in, flying wherever she at. He is positioning his ugly for her to downgrade her lane into his lane, to, for her to allow him into the fast lane of pretty. Jay-Z looked better now that he has Beyonce with him. Kevin Hart looks better with Eniko on his arm. He ugly, but, 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 if you got a bad chick like that, you are obviously ain't that ugly. I mean, your level of ugly will go, you can put, pull somebody from the ugly slow lane into your pretty fast lane, and now you driving this nigga ugly nigga around, and now he think he handsomer than you. Now he gonna break up with you and try to upgrade on you. And you're like, wait, nigga, I put you in this pretty lane. You better go back down to them bitches you been fucking with. You, what about that girl with that, uh, with that kilo on her ear? Do you still fuck with her? Call her back, nigga, when you break up with me. Don't try to break up with me and go in the lane that I done put you in. Now you Jay, Jay Z break up with Beyonce, where you gonna go, Halle Berry? You know you wasn't about to get no damn Halle Berry if you never had no Beyonce. Come on, now. This is only in the looks part of the lane. Now, I'm just being superficial with this because this is a prime example of people having all of the categories together, <laughs> excuse me, except one category. In that one category, if you a man, if that just happens to be ugly, you still can get into the fast lane, nigga. You just got to get your money up fast, far enough to get you in the pretty fast lane. That's all. You, if you get in the financial fast lane, you can get in the fight in, in the pretty fast lane. That's nothing. Once you do one, you can do the other. Incident, I'm glad you in this bitch, baby, from Montgomery. Thank you so much for coming. I'm freezing to y'all. I still see y'all. I don't know if I'm freezing or not. Maybe it's your shit. Vice President would have texted me if I was froze. Let me see. No, I ain't froze, god damn it. Hit that goddamn cash app. I'm, I'm froze until y'all hit that cash app. Goddamn, hit that cash app. Shit, I don't care if you hit it now or no more. I might not be here tomorrow. Hurricane might come blow me the fuck up out of here. And y'all ain't gonna never get to see it. Hit that cash app today. Shit, if they hey, at least you can say I donated to him before that hurricane blew his ass away off the show. Now nah, I might be off. Hey, I might not be dead, but damn, in there might be an out, might be gone out or something. Hit that cash app today. Help me with get to help me upgrade my internet package. If that if my shit freezing, put something in that cash app so my shit can unfreeze. God damn it, ain't no thing I would not be in the order in place right now. You got damn right you wouldn't, Miss Robinson. Guess what? You go to another live and you gonna see somebody with their face too close to the camera, staring at you. Reading, reading the comments, but not shouting you out for saying it. Nigga, just be looking at it, huh? Eating cereal, smoking a blunt, drinking a wine, some shit playing some music. You just watching the nigga do nothing, you better bring your ass to the Let Me Stress You Out show where I'm entertaining you for a whole hour. I'm making you think about some shit. And I'm, at, and I'm uh, I wrote somebody for you. Come on now, tell Gaddafi. Come on, Gaddafi already got me. I don't even mention Gaddafi. Gaddafi got too much money. That nigga can't even give me no cash out for that amount of money he be giving me. That nigga hit me with, he'll hit me with a stack of that, with a rubber band around that bitch. If you want to, hey, I'm just saying, 
No, I ain't asking for that type of money. I'm just trying to tear down the little twos and fuse. We trying to scrape together in the community. That nigga help support the, hey, hey, hey. If I need it, I can call him and get that from Gaddafi. But I need y'all as well. I need y'all as well. I can't think, what if that nigga, hey. What if that nigga move or something? I might not be able to find him. Maybe what if that nigga get on the run from the law or something? And he can't get back with me. Y'all got to start the trend to help me out, shit. I watch, I was getting over my things in my place at my son's graduation tomorrow. Oh, congratulations on your son's graduation in the Caribbean islands, Desiree Francis. Now, yeah. Listen at this, Dwayne. If you upper middle class in the money, but you physically slinging wood out the hood, you can you can scoot on in that lane. A lot of women do it. A lot of women date down in the financial department. Y'all date down in that financial department a lot. Everybody does it. Hey, everybody dates down, ladies. Some of y'all do. Thank you so much, honey. I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for coming. Shit, I've been here for 55 minutes. I've been talking to y'all that quick. 55 goddamn minutes. That, that is insane. I gave you a whole episode of Good Girls. I gave you a whole episode of Hour. I gave you an episode of Empire. I did it by myself, though. No Lucius. Nah. I gave a whole episode, an hour of power, no Lucius, and I ain't stopped talking yet. Come on, Chantel. Thank you so much for coming to the Let Me Trust You Out show. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this last thing in closing. In closing, let me say this about that. When it comes to whether you should stay in your lane, it depends on whether you're a boy or girl, but it depends on what lane that you are in. Now, now, if you in the lane, goddamn monster, I'm so glad you came, but you came too late. I was telling these niggas some good shit, you missed it, nigga. But, but I'ma summarize it real quick. What we were talking about is staying in your lane. Where, now the three categories of staying in your lane is this. It's in the looks department, stay in your lane. If you a goddamn dime, try to date dimes then. Do your best. But let me tell you this last part of it, cause I gotta finish this out. Over the, the last part of this shit is when you're in all, you in the fast lane in all categories, you good looking, you got money, you got social status, you slinging wood out the hood, you all around top notch, you A1, you top shelf weed, you, you are, you are, you are eighth, that's way up, a $90 eighth. If you a $90 eighth already, it's going to be hard for you to find another $90 eighth. Yeah. I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to tell you that, but you're going to have to date down if you get too high up. That's my point. So if you get too rich, ladies, you got to date down in the financial department. If you're too good looking, you're going to have to date down in the financial de in the looks department because ain't nobody else look good as you. Shit. Thank you so much, baby, for coming. Yes, yes. Goddamn vice president just told me to remind y'all that my album, my comedy album, is on iTunes. Live from the High High Comedy Club in North Hollywood. So type in on Instagram, I mean on iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, Spotify, Tidal. Tidal is the black one. Jump on Tidal. And shit, to keep it even more real, which is the shit is on TikTok. So if you on TikTok, you can type in Comedian Boogie B or Boogie B Montreal. And you'll be able to pull my jokes up, some of my jokes that I just did on the comedy album right before the COVID. This album was shot right before the COVID. So y'all go check that motherfucker out. Yes, indeed. And hit that cash app, too. I always tell y'all hit that cash app in between everything. All y'all, my bros and my boog ass, I just want y'all to know, find out what lane in. And stop shooting outside of your lane unless you are ready for the consequences. Because every time you shoot out of your lane financially, the consequences is you might get put out. If you dating a woman and she got all the money, you can do it. But the consequences is if you get put out, you got to just take it on the chin. If you dating a woman that look better than you and you know you ugly, then hey, don't be jealous when everybody's trying to talk to her. Don't be jealous about all the, why you wearing that? Don't be insecure. Just let her be better looking than you and then you just understand that she did you a favor. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Be prepared for the 
Your Nick, don't be a dick or out here looking for a dime. That's Life Jennings, 47D. You got them right it is. That's Life Shawana. I'm so glad you put that in the chat. Yes. But, but you can do these things, though. I don't want no ugly. I, don't want, I never want two ugly people to get together. I want two ugly people to get somebody better looking. So the kid will be a step above. So I never suggest you date across if you at the bottom. I always, you at the bottom, date up. If you at the top, date down in whatever category you're in. But just know that each category comes with consequences and repercussions. I'ma just tell it like it is. I can't do it no different than this, goddamn Tracy. I can't tell you nothing, but what I know, why would I try to hurt you? I'm telling you all the right shit to do. I'ma get a girl who look better than me all the time because I'm funny. <laughs> Unless you're gonna be funnier than me, you gonna be, hey, you can find a nigga better looking than me easy, easy as you want, but the nigga ain't gonna be funny. Now what you gonna do? Now you can find a nigga that got more muscles than me. But the nigga ain't gonna be slinging this dick I got. Hey, I'm, I'm dingling grandma furniture hard. My shit's still good. I'm on CMOS. I mean, I know I ain't got no money. You might have to help me out on the money. But you can go find a nigga with some more money than me. But I'm damn gonna show, show, gonna shoot my shot. I'm damn sure gonna shoot mine. I don't care how good you look. I don't care how much money you got. I'm shooting my shot. And if, I take, and if I get you and you look better than me, I want niggas to look at you. I want you to look better than me in the looks department, that's for sure. You can look better than me if you want to. Hey, you can make more money than me if you want to. That's fine, but you ain't gonna get me in all three categories now. If you get me in all three categories, so what? I do, I do that. You ain't competing with me. You competing, competing with the other women out here. Shit, I'm a, I may be ugly, but I'm funny. Somebody cute gonna take me. Hey, that's the only thing about comedy and entertainment. We got a leg up over some people. Because if people already know our personality, they can get past our ugly. She can't get you. Hey, she can get past my ugly because she already feel like she know me. So shit, I'm already cool with the ugly. I'm in the middle lane to her. But then if I talk a good game, I can schmooze on in the her lane, into the fast lane. Nah, I'm cute. Shit, cause all I date is women that's in the fast lane in the looks department. So don't matter what I'm in, it matters what I date. Yeah, that's what it is. All goddamn three, you ready to be right? Free throw line, you goddamn right. Free throw line. Free throw line, yeah, that's how I'm gonna leave it. Joanna, jo I'll show. Wanna, I'm sorry, I'm so, so getting so tongue-tied. Tracy, thank you so much for coming. Antoinette, thank you so much for coming. Wanna, thank you so much for coming. Antoinette, thank you so much for coming. Honey, thank you so much for coming, Lawanda. I appreciate you, baby. I appreciate all y'all. Thank you for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out show. I was your host, the comedian Boogie B, the New Orleans representative, AKA the Mouth for the South. Go ahead and find me on iTunes. AKA Mr. Come Here, Let Me Stress You Out. Is it gonna be a new video coming soon? If the storm say the same, I'm going to do a dude let me stress you out video soon, trust me.